Hey everybody, welcome to another Happy Gamer uh, Warhammer video. Today we're looking at Wood Elves again and Durthu. Or as I could say it, Avatar comes to Wood Elves. Durthu is, if you want to go with the fluff, the oldest of the ancients. So this guy makes an elf lifespan look like a human lifespan. Probably even a Skaven lifespan the, to him. He says an elf lifespan is like the blink of an eye, which makes him tens of thousands of years old, if if you go with that. He's a lord. He has the following stat line, movement 5, weapon skill 7, ballistic skill 7, strength 6, toughness 6, wounds 6, initiative 2. But you're going to find out that won't matter too much. And attacks Six. So apparently they're very slow attacks, but somehow he gets a lot of them. Maybe I guess it's a lot of the branches are just hitting you at the same time slowly. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a monster troop type and a special character. He's also a level one wizard that uses lore of beasts. In addition to all of that, now he really brings the hurt. He's got blessings of the ancients. He's flammable, he has frenzy, he has hatred, he's a large target, he's got scaly skin and a 3 plus save, he's stubborn and causes terror. Now that's not enough, because we just need more badass them to be applied to him. He has a ranged attack called Lamentations of Despair. Lamentation of Despair. During this, he can make a 12-inch strength 2 attack. What's special about it? It's got killing blow. That's nice. It also has a multiple shots of 2d6. So, to recap, 12-inch strength 2 killing blow 2d6 multiple shot attack. And it's just an attack. It's not a spell. Um... He, has, he comes with a hand weapon, a shield on top of everything, and an Asrai spear. Remember that shield. He's already got scaly skin of 3+, plus, but he also has a shield. He, he, he also is going to end up having a 6+, plus ward save. Um, he has another special attack. Normal attack, so it's, 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 it's not a spell, called Tree Rack. And basically what Tree Rack does is it allows him to exchange his, all of his close combat melee attacks for one Tree Rack attack, which must be declared before you roll to hit. Now after you do that, the character he nominates to hit takes what is it oh he, it must pass an initiative check or suffer d6 wounds with no armor saves allowed and most importantly this attack can be used in a challenge what do i should call this attack i don't think it should be called uh tree rack i think it should be called smeg you dwarves attack because when they made this Obviously, they were thinking, how do we kill a dwarf? Make an initiative check, give it d6 wounds, and no armor saves. That's how you kill a dwarf. <laughs> and make it usable in a challenge. That's how you kill a dwarf king. <laughs> he also has forest spirit, which gives him the uh, forest strider special rule and its attacks. Both combat and shooting are considered magical. In addition, if the model is not on a mount, which he isn't, he get a 6 plus ward save, which I was talking about before. So, all of these attacks, tree rack and everything like that, and the shooting attacks, like Nomination of the Spare, are now considered magical. And he has a 6 plus ward save. So let's, let's go over what he has. He has a 3 plus scaly skin save he has a shield he has a six plus ward save 
He has a toughness of six, and he has six wounds. Wow. <clears throat> this guy is just made to kill things. Pure and simple. You take him, everybody else in the army is pretty much going to have to spend their whole time saying, how am I going to take this guy down? Because he can, he can pretty much destroy entire life infantry units. Light infantry units. All by himself. The real decision you're going to have to make with this guy quite honestly, is to whack or not to whack, as they call it in White Dwarf, because you've got, you know, your normal six, strength six, toughness six wounds, uh, uh, hits, just normally. Or you can tree whack and do the initiative check with uh, d6 wounds. Now, here's really what this choice is going to come down to tactics-wise. What is the initiative of what you're attacking? Uh, sometimes, if you see you're about to be overwhelmed by a massive amount of high initiative attacks, you're probably best, and, and you're low on health, you're probably best going for the whack. The, the bow whack, because uh, then the guy just has to make an initiative check. And you can get lucky. He fails an initiative check, and you can get that one to six attacks without armor save. Boom. Right there. Immediately. Or you can take the chance and wait to see if you're still alive at initiative two. If you think you're going to still be alive at initiative two, do not whack. If you think you'll be dead at initiative two, whack. That's basically how I see it. Uh, Adam at White Dwarf sees it as, I wholeheartedly agree with what Dan says. Durthu is a prime contender within the Warhammer World's heavyweight category. And he says basically the same thing. This guy is designed just to kill things. <laughs> Sorry, everybody's going to say it. Video went a little long. I hope you like it. See you next time. Bye.